Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney Springs and we are going to be dining at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. This is one of the most popular restaurants here at Disney World, so I figured we'd come out, have some southern food, walk around Disney Springs, and have a wonderful evening. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is super busy in the parks this week because it's President's Day weekend and I couldn't get any park reservations and since a lot of people have been asking, hey, are you ever going to go do a full dining review at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming? I figured today would be the perfect day. I have eaten here before, but I've never done like a full dining review. And like I said, this is one of the most popular restaurants. Whenever I ask people, hey, like what's a good restaurant at Disney? They always tell me Chef Art Smith's Homecoming because of the fried chicken. So we're definitely gonna get that and a couple of other items that I've never had before and just kind of give you a grand overview. Here is the restaurant itself. It's right next to Morimoto's. And it's funny because I just ate at Morimoto's the other day and now we're actually over here and I'm excited. I couldn't get a reservation through the My Disney Experience app, but they do accept walk-ups and they have outdoor seating and indoor seating. So I'll take whatever's available. Looks like they had immediate seating for outside, so I was like, absolutely, I like sitting outside. It's a beautiful Florida day anyway, and uh, now let's look over the menu. This menu is basically a whole bunch of Southern Florida food, and I am so excited to dive into it. Like I said before, Art's famous fried chicken is one of the things on the menu a lot of people talk about, and they also have gator bites, they have thigh-high chicken biscuits, they have Addie Mae's chicken and dumpling soup, there's a lot to offer here, so we're gonna go through and order a couple items and give it a little taste test. In case you've never heard about Chef Art Smith, he's a world-renowned chef who is an expert in Southern cuisine, and he was actually Oprah Winfrey's personal chef for a long time, and I think that's pretty amazing. For starters, I decided on going with Addie Mae's chicken and dumpling soup. And this looks so amazing. It's $12 and it's just like mama used to make. Oh my lord, I think I made a big mistake. The soup was $12 and I thought it was going to be like a cup of soup. This is like a meal. This is a whole meal. I was not expecting this at all. This is insane, isn't it? Look at this. Look, look at this. Like I can't get over this. I mean, like normally when you order soup, you don't expect to get like something like this. There's like not sizes on there. There's just one size and it's $12 and holy moly. But we're gonna dive into it here and look at the size of the dumplings. Like that is insane. I can't get over it. Gigantic chunks of chicken. Oh boy, this is much too good already. I can tell. I don't even know where to begin because a whole dumpling doesn't even fit on the spoon. So you have to like cut your soup. You have to cut the soup. Like, isn't that crazy? But here we go. One little bite here. Mm. This is phenomenal. Like, so, so good. You know how I was telling you about you have to cut the soup. Look, you have to cut the dumplings because like it doesn't, it doesn't fit. Like you can't eat one dumpling in one bite. So you got to cut it down. And I love it. The dumplings are like nice and firm. They're made in house here so you can tell they're fresh. And I love this. This is a great soup. I'm like blown away by it. But like I said, you can basically have this as a meal on your own. It is that big. And I had no idea. Like I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have ordered this if I known how big this actually is because I also got gator bites because I had to try the gator. I have to try the gator. You know what I mean? So now I have two like like big portioned appetizers and then we got the chicken a lot of food's gonna be going down today a lot other than some amazing chicken dumpling soup the uh, homecoming is also home to some of the best moonshine you will find in florida here crafty moonshine and resort cocktails this area is reserved for bootleggers they'll show up whenever the coast is clear i kind of like that but it's really really nifty might want to put that in my purse Looking over the menu again, I noticed that they have a kitchen plate, which is basically a sampling of three different sides. Their sides are so good that they have their own entree. I ended up getting Art's Famous Fried Chicken because, you know, it's famous fried chicken. Buttermilk brine for 24 hours and then perfectly fried. That sounds like something amazing. But look at the sides. They have creamy mashed potatoes, mama mac and cheese, roasted sweet potatoes, Bradley's grits, 
succotash. I think I'm gonna get some succotash. I do love that. So maybe some succotash and chicken. After we get done eating, we're gonna go back out to Disney Springs, walk around a little bit, and do some shopping for an upcoming trip that I, I'm very excited to talk about. But uh, we'll get to all that once we get done eating, because we have a lot more coming. Like I said, I, I, I definitely wanna try a little bit of everything. I wanna sample Chef Art Smith's homecoming best. Now it's time for some gator bites. This is tender bites of gator tail, hand breaded and then lightly fried, served with a house-made hot sauce. And look at that. These look really, really good. I'm excited. I've had gator a couple of times before, but it never looked this good. Oh, it is lightly breaded, like lightly fried. You can kind of get that flakiness on there. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had gator before. Most of the times I've ever had it, it's kind of chewy. So we're gonna see how it is here. And since it's like a famous chef, I'm kind of thinking it's gonna be very good, but we'll find out. We'll find out in a second. Here we go, I'm gonna bite it. Hmm. It's good. It's really, really good gator. Now, it's not as chewy as I usually like end up getting it the times I've had it before, but the battering is perfect in there. Like it's, it's perfectly battered and fried, and you can take a look on the inside there. A little bit of a dark meat, but I like this. This is really, really good. We're gonna try the hot sauce too. Let's do a little hot sauce gator dunking. Hot sauce gator dunking. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too hot, but we'll find out. Ooh. Mm. Okay, so the hot sauce has some amazing flavor to it, but it is definitely hot. It's like hot, hot sauce, so be careful of that. I do like it though. I like it a lot, so I'll definitely be dipping again. Now we're gonna hop from some fried gator to some succotash, just the way I like it. Individual sides cost $7, and I really wanted to try the succotash, so I ordered it, and look at it, I'm already impressed. I like how the corn is still kind of together here. It looks, oh wow, this is gonna be good. We're gonna dive right on in here. One of my favorite places to eat succotash is actually in Epcot at Seasons because they have uh, succotash where they use all the ingredients from living with the land and that is so cool. But we're gonna try this one out, give it a go here. I love corn, so this is a plus. Mm. This is so good. I could eat this. I could definitely eat this. If I got the, uh, if I got the uh, kitchen plate, I probably would get succotash, mashed potatoes, and uh, probably the roasted sweet potatoes, and that would be good for me. I got way too much food, but I always like giving you guys a big variety of things, so I like to order as much as I can to show you as much as I can. And you know, if I have to take some home, I'll take some home. I'm definitely taking home some of the gator bites. I did finish my chicken and dumpling soup. It was so good. I just kind of, I just kind of went to town on it, but I have a lot of gator left over and I'll be taking that home with me. And enough of the succotash business. It's time for the main event. Art's Famous Fried Chicken. Look at this. We got a nice little cheddar biscuit, some creamy mashed potatoes, and then here's the chicken. Look at that. Holy moly, I cannot wait to dive into this. I don't know if I should go for a drumstick first or a little tiny wingy on the side here. It all looks so, so, it like looks amazing. And also they have house-made pickles too. All right, I'm going drumstick first. And it's a big piece, three pieces of chicken. The mashed potatoes look good. And we're going, we're going all in. Take a look at that. The breading is literally just so flaky and delicious looking. <laughs> all right, here we go. First, first bite. <laughs> the breading is so good. I love it. Home run right here. Home run on the chicken. Now I want to get some of the chicken off and now uh, try the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna do a little chicken mashed potato Chicken mashed potato succotash combo. I don't know if I can do that though. Oh, there we go. A little scoopsy potato. <laughs> scoopsy potato. I'm gonna lose my chicken in there though. Who else does this? I mean, I love chicken and potatoes together. Oh man. 
I think this is gonna be it. Oh no, we need some succotash on here. That's what we need. We need a little of the succotash on the bite so we get a little corn. There we go. There we go. Now that's what we're talking about. I almost forgot the most important ingredient. And here we go. Seriously, that is a home run right here. This whole meal is a home run. I, I don't even know where to start again. I don't even know where to go to next. I think we're gonna come over here to the thigh. Yeah, I do love some thighs. I'm gonna get myself a little wingy here. Me, Tommy, me want wingy. <laughs> me, Tommy, me want wingy. You guys haven't known, uh, I like to quote some of my favorite comedy bits, like Scoopsy Potato and uh, me, Tommy, me, want we? If you guys know where that's from, let me know in the comments because that's one of my all time favorite movies. But here we go. This is some of the best fried chicken I think I've ever had. And it's so amazing. The breading is fabulous. The breading is like something special. They definitely are doing something different in there. Look at this. Look at that skin. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> little chicken skin. Not too shabby. I'm definitely going to be having some chicken and some gator to take home with me, but this is good. I'm so happy we got what we did. I just didn't know the chicken and dumpling soup was going to be massive, which I ate all of that. It didn't even stand a chance, but if I wasn't full, I probably would eat all the chicken too. One thing I forgot is to show you guys the biscuit. Got to show you the little cheddar biscuit. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of cheddar biscuits or cheddar bay biscuits like Red Lobster. If it comes out of like all the like biscuits and dinner roll like game, I would say Texas Roadhouse has the best dinner rolls. That is so, so good. But we're gonna try this biscuit here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it in half for you. Give you a look-see on the inside. Always gotta show the inside. That's a good biscuit. I didn't notice until right now they actually debone the chicken. So there's no bones in this in this, which is the thigh, and then the breast there's no bones. So the only bones that you actually have is from the little chicken wing and the drumstick. And I didn't even know that. Like it kind of blew my mind when I cut into it. Now that was a great meal. Seriously so good. Definitely one of the better restaurants at Disney World. Packed full of flavor and we got there just at the right time. So I came just around 3.30, 4.30ish maybe. And like I said, there was immediate seating outside. But now take a look at it over here. This big group of people right here are people that are waiting to actually go in. Now they probably have reservations, but all of the outdoor tables are actually full. So uh, it's basically all booked up for the night. So we just got there just in time. Just the uh, changeover from lunch to dinner. So if you plan on eating here at homecoming, I highly suggest make sure you have a reservation. Don't come thinking you can just get a walk up like I did. Today might have just been a very lucky kind of day for me. And now since it's almost sunset, I think I'm going to take you guys to one of my favorite places to actually watch a sunset here at Disney Springs because it's so beautiful. It's just about 5.30 and the sunset should be happening soon. And one of my favorite places to go is at the top of the Coca-Cola store. They have a little Coca-Cola bar up there and you can get some really cool sodas and you get an amazing view. But the reason I want to go up there today is for Beverly's Revenge. I hope they still offer it up there. It's been a while since I've been there, but if you guys are familiar with the Beverly at Epcot and Club Cool, they have an alcoholic version of it called Beverly's Revenge, and they only sell it here at the uh, Coca-Cola store. So I thought it'd be cool to show you guys that and the sunset. You know what else would be cool is if we can see the Coca-Cola bear. He does a meet and greet here and it's a part of Disney Photo Pass so you can get it with your memory maker and I love it. It's one of the best meet and greets actually on Disney property but I don't know if it's back up yet. Looks like the Coke bear is actually in hibernation so he's not doing any meet and greets but I wish I could have showed you because he is super cool. One thing I do want to show you though is the amazing uh, like Walt Disney World Coke merchandise because you can only get that here. You can see they've got these cool sweaters with Mickeys on them. They even have shorts and t-shirts that say Coca-Cola and Walt Disney World. These are really cool and they even have red ones too. And I'm pretty sure you can get an annual pass discount if you do want to buy any of it. 
but now we've made our way all the way to the top of the coca-cola store and it's gonna be a little bit breezy because we're all the way up but look at this view isn't it amazing i love coming up here it is so cool and now we're gonna see about getting that beverly's revenge oh wait maybe we won't that is a super long line there holy moly look at this view though isn't it amazing you can see all of disney springs and i love it i just love coming up here just to be able to stand up here and just kind of take it all in so cool look at the way the sun is hitting my face right now they do have beverly's revenge so i think we're gonna actually get it i'm gonna wait in line because it is really really nifty and uh yeah it's so blinding up here because the sun is directly like right there there's also a paid version of Club Cool that you can do up here where you get to drink around the world and try a whole bunch of different soda from around the world. And it's 16 different sodas for $15. Uh, and it's like really unique. It's something special. Club Cool doesn't have 16 flavors, but it is free. So I don't know. It's, it's definitely worth it. I've done it before, and I think it is worth it. Today, we're all about Beverly's Revenge, though. There it is. $14. I'm so excited. It's kind of like a gin and tonic. And here it is. Isn't it lovely? I love it. Look at this. We get to drink it with a view. Like, <laughs> this is living life right here. All right, here we go. I've had it before, and it's not the best tasting drink just because Beverly's not the best tasting uh, soda out there. But I kind of get it just for the experience. So cheers to that. Oh yeah, you can taste the Beverly. You can taste the Beverly, you can taste the gin, and then it also has some cherry syrup in there with a little mint. And it's, I mean, it's good. It's not overpowering like Beverly, like the Beverly's not overpowering, but uh, it's definitely something you should experience and you should try, especially if you've had Beverly before. I just love this view up here though. I can't stop looking out because it's just amazing. Look at it out here. It's unbelievable. I, can, I, I just, I kind of want to spend all day up here. I mean, it would be nice, but there's things we have to do and I want to keep going around Disney Springs. It's going to get dark out soon. So I think we're going to finish up our drink and head out. But boy, oh boy, I love being up here. Now we have to head back downstairs. So we're going to grab our elevator down. There's three different floors here, so you have to go all the way to the top if you want to get to the beverage bar. And normally, the second floor is where the Coca-Cola bear is meeting and green, but like I said, he's in hibernation at the moment. So, holy moly, this is a little unexpected, but my aunt, uncle, and cousins from Pennsylvania are here at Disney Springs, and I had no idea. I haven't seen them in years, and uh, they're coming down and vacationing here in Florida, and uh, they're here at Disney Springs right now. So, uh, I'm going to go meet up with them, and we're going to chit-chat for a little bit, and wow, I'm very happy. <laughs> Well, that was a little bit of a time jump, but now it is dark outside. So I apologize about that. It kind of jumped real quick. One second we were at the Coke store and the next thing you know it's dark outside. That's because, like I said, my family's here and uh, it was great. We got to hang out at Disney Springs for a little bit and uh, I didn't vlog much because I was just really, I was really happy to see them. I haven't had family down here since my mom or sister. Actually, I haven't probably had, I haven't been with family in like a year because uh, that's the last time I think I saw my mom and sister. So it was really awesome. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hang out more and do a part together. So maybe I'll show you uh, them in the future. But it, it was really nice just kind of relaxing for a little bit and being with family. Very, it was really awesome. So now I'm gonna continue a little bit and we're gonna make our way down here to the Star Wars Galactic Outpost because this has to do with my future plans and uh, we just wanna take a look-see in here to see if there's anything that is a little fancy. I'm sure if you guys couldn't guess by what I was talking about a future trip, but I am going to be doing the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser and I am so excited so I figured I'd hop in there and see if they have anything cool that I can bring on my journey. I know I'm already going to wear like one of my Star Wars Roosevelt. I wish I had a lightsaber. I still think I might have time. I might have to get a lightsaber. But then again, what if I can make a lightsaber there? There's so many questions I'm not too sure yet, but uh, I'm excited. 
even though I kind of already know I have a good Star Wars shirt to wear, there is still a real lot of awesome button-ups in here. Like, look at this one right here. I love this. This is so good, and the material is really nice. It looks like it's only uh, $59.99. Oh, but I love this jacket. I really, really love this jacket. That is nice. Very fancy. And it looks like it's $79.99. That's not too bad at all. Whoa. I bought the jacket. I had to. It's such a nice little coat, and it's not heavy. It's actually, like, really nice material, so you can wear it, actually, all year round. And uh, I can't wait to try it on. Even though I grabbed myself some new Star Wars gear, uh, right next door is Marvel Superhero Headquarters, so we might as well just take a, a gander, take a look-see in here. Ooh, I already see something I like in here as well. Look at there's a Hawkeye uh, hoodie there. Look, I've never seen this before. I love when you come into these stores down here because they have different stuff than you would normally find. Oh, I like that logo on the back. This is actually really cool. I love the Hawkeye. I thought it was a great series. I wasn't too fond of the ending, but uh, overall, I still really like the show. It also looks like they have an amazing Black Panther hoodie. This looks really, really cool. I like on the side here. Wow, that is really awesome. They're coming out with some good stuff. Ooh, and then is this? It is, it's from What If. This is T'Challa Star-Lord. This is really cool. I don't collect these, but I do think they are pretty fancy. $24.99, What If. Let me know if you guys like that show too. This is, this is kind of cool. Well, this really has turned into an eventful evening. I wasn't expecting family to actually be down here, so kind of threw me off a little bit, so I apologize. Because like I had this plan of coming down and doing some shopping, but I was really enjoying my time hanging out with them, and now the park, well, Disney Springs is closing. Uh, it's closing soon, and uh, I really don't have much else to show you. Oh, I think we could maybe try to go get Gracie some pup pups and then take them home to her though, but I don't know if they're open until 11 o'clock because it's like 10 30. I'm gonna have to look. I think we might make a, a trip up to uh, Sprinkles. Okay so I looked online and it had two different times. It had one that said 10 o'clock and one that said 11. I think we're just gonna make our way up there and wish for the best. Hopefully we've got some cupcakes to give to crazy though. I feel like it's a Disney Springs tradition you know. I don't know if we're gonna make it but I know Gracie would be super upset if she knew we were at Disney Springs and we didn't bring her any pup cakes home. I uh, ran out the last time I was here, I got her three, and it's been like a two or three weeks since uh, we got them last time, so uh, she would like that. It looks like we made it just in time, so we're gonna be able to get Gracie her sprinkles, but I wonder if they uh, have them in the cupcake ATM. I never checked before. Oh, our bakers are loading cupcakes into the cupcake ATM now. You will be able to place an order in 30 minutes. We might as well just go right inside. Well, there we go. Gracie got some pup cakes. I got a jacket. Now we're going to head home, give her a little snackaroo, and uh, call it a night. Where's my princess? There she is. You want a cupcake? Oh. <laughs> she took it and ran. Look at her. You thief! Oh, you're gonna flip it over? She always eats the bottom. Oh, wow, she actually took it all right there. Wow, that's a big bite, baby. Yes, you love it? And with that, I think we are done here today. What a fun day I had today. It, it actually ended up not what I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna just hang out at Disney Springs all night by myself, but uh, little did I know I got to spend time with family, and it was great. And they're gonna be here for a little bit, but I do have a lot of things planned for this week, so I'm gonna try to hang out with them as much as I can. I know Epcot we're gonna do tomorrow, and uh, yeah, it was great. It was a fun day. Uh, homecoming was amazing. So much food. I still have some leftovers. I was carrying around with me and I can't wait to actually dive into that chicken maybe a little bit later on. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!